Hey everybody, Bruce here, Traveling with Bruce. You missed the old days? Uh, just a couple of months ago, this was the kind of video that uh, would cause all kinds of views on my channel. One ship slicing open another one. <laughs> ah, those are the good old days. Uh, people ask me, when are we going to go back to cruising like it used to be, you know? Well, when we see this, uh, we'll know. Uh, when you see flights coming across the Atlantic Ocean every morning, uh, Britain time, UK time, coming into uh, Heathrow and Gatwick, Stamstead, Luton. When you see these uh, these flight patterns return to these levels, well, then you know we're back to normal. But we're not going to be back to normal for quite some time, unfortunately. And uh, and that leads me to my video today. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel and uh, giving my videos thumbs ups. I really appreciate that, folks. Love the thumbs ups. It really helps the analytics. Thank you for all of your comments. And also uh, Facebook. Thank you for joining my Facebook group page, Traveling with Bruce. Uh, 2,800 followers on this. Unbelievable. Uh, if you want to join the Facebook group page, it's where most of us hang out between my videos. Uh, just ask to join that page. I'll let you in. I'm the administrator. And thank you for joining my Instagram page. Jennifer and I are approaching 500 followers on Instagram. There goes my phone again. Another person is signing up. This is exciting stuff. Anyway, uh, here's some video courtesy of the, uh, the uh, air uh, traffic uh, people in uh, the UK. Kind of showing you a typical day at least what used to be a typical day, of air activity in the sky uh, over the United Kingdom. Quite amazing when you see this sort of stuff. Uh, all, of course, time-lapsed and uh, computer-generated, but it, it isn't amazing. Military jets, they don't know where they're going. They're, they're looking to shoot something, uh, but, you know. Anyway, uh, unbelievable footage, and uh, I just find this sort of stuff fascinating. Of course, this happens around the world. This isn't just a U.K. thing. You should see the maps for Asia. In the United States, when things are normal, it's quite kooky. There's all the helicopters going to the offshore oil and glass, oil and gas platforms. Quite, uh, quite amazing from Aberdeen. Anyway, um, I wanted to let you guys know the news that came out today was Carnival. Uh, we were supposed to get an announcement today from Carnival Cruise Lines whether they were going to extend their suspension of services for their cruise lines. Now. Um, we heard today, uh, first thing this morning, uh, they said, we're not, we're not going to be um, announcing this till Monday. So those of you who are waiting, no soup for you. you you're not going to get that news until Monday now. You're going to have to wait three more days, uh, courtesy of the soup Nancy there. Um, but um, I can tell you right now, they're going to extend the shutdown. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you follow anything else um there's a couple of ways you're going to know whether or not cruises are coming back to normal one of them is just keep your eye on all the cruise ports around the world um cruise ports have been shutting down and denying cruise ships access into their ports fearing the dreaded virus so uh, there's no no cruise ship is going to cruise anywhere because it can't go anywhere um the, the other thing to look for of course is the airlines as i as I've, you already noticed there if the airlines are announcing stuff like uh, like american is saying oh, we're going to go down to 80 uh, percent shutdown uh, united 70 percent shutdown um southwest we're 60 percent shutdown that means you can't get to your cruise ship and you can't get home from your cruise ship either so there will be no cruising until the airlines are up and running again um other telltale signs, uh, lockdowns. Uh, if states and countries are on total and complete mandatory lockdowns for movement, uh, there won't be any cruises. Um, and right now, Europe is uh, really locking down. Uh, Canada, uh, provinces across the country are starting to lock down. The United States, more and more states are quickly locking down and making it even tighter. Uh, and more restrictive movements, um, uh, you know, in certain jurisdictions around the world, the only stores that are allowed to be open are grocery stores, pharmacies, and that's it. If the schools are closed and universities are closed and, uh, you know, all the car dealers shut down, uh, folks, there's no way a cruise line is going to be opening up for business. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Um, cruise lines also need uh, provisions. I mean, you want to spend a week on a cruise ship, uh, you know, you, you're going to need so many eggs and so many slices of toast, and you're going to need bacon and sausage, and uh, they're going to have to make you a waffle or a pancake or two. And if you like uh, 
you like your oatmeal or you like a little fruit in the morning, uh, you know, all these provisions have to be brought on board. That's just breakfast. We're talking, what, three to 5,000 people per cruise ship um, plus crew. Uh, that's a lot of bacon and eggs. And then there's lunch. And, uh, of course, everyone has their own favorite for lunch. And then there's dinner. And you're, you're not a cruise ship unless you're offering 10 or 15 different entrees available in the main dining room. And then especially restaurants, even more complex. So the provisions needed for these cruise ships are so vast and so wide reaching it isn't like a, a local safeway can deliver enough <laughs> groceries to a cruise ship with 3000 passengers and 1500 crew i mean that's just not going to work so we're talking vast massive infrastructure scenarios that have to be up and running and they're not uh, plus a lot of these cruise ships nowadays to cut costs in the last decade they've s- set up what what i call sous chef warehouses where they bring in all the raw materials for cruises going forward the next week or so, store it in vast refrigeration systems, and have armies of uh, sous chefs and, and other employees who begin to do food prep work for each cruise ship um, on a just-in-time kind of basis. So if the, uh, if the Oasis of the Seas is leaving port uh, day after tomorrow, uh, there are hundreds of people working in these warehouses already prepping uh, bags of salad, pre-made salad and, and uh, gravies and sauces and you name it uh, uh, to get everything ready for delivery to the port, to the pier, so that when the ship offloads all that luggage and offloads all of their waste materials, they're ready to now receive next week's uh, provisions and we're talking an Oasis class ship here up to 6,500 passengers, 2,200 crew, 8,700 people for a week. Just think about the number of meals we're talking about here. Uh, these are all uh, so many of this is pre made, uh, fresh at these uh, literal, literally industrial type kitchens within a few miles of the uh, port. Uh, those folks, all those people, they're not working right now. They've all been laid off. They have nothing to do. Uh, they might be prepping food for the crew uh, because the ship will come in every week or two for a drop-off and a pickup, but they're not uh, handling 8,700 people every week. They might be handling 2,200, and that's before the layoffs began for on-ship staff. Uh, something tells me uh, uh, half of the staff, maybe three-quarters of the staff of these cruise ships are going to be let go, sent home early for a while, and brought back later, uh, at least for half of the ships in the fleet or three-quarters of the ships in the fleet. Uh, when things start back up again, uh, we'll see a, 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 a slow and steady buildup of, uh, of cruise ships coming back into service. And if the first 25% of the ships that the, the, the crew, the fleets have for Carnival or Royal Caribbean or Norwegian and everyone else, they'll be ready to go almost immediately. But the remaining three quarters of the fleet will be brought back online over the next few weeks behind that. And that's assuming everything opens at the same time, which I don't think it will. Uh, Cruise lines out of my uh, out of Florida are going to try to uh, sail to three or four ports to start with five or six, and then hopefully each week or two more more island nations will start easing the rules for uh, cruise ships to start again. But we could be talking a month or two or three from now. So that's just a quick little uh, highlight for you. What I think is coming going forward, uh, there have to be a lot of things going right in many different places at the same time for things to return to what we know as normal with regard to just the cruise business. There's the airline business, the trains, the buses, our vehicles, commerce, business travel, hotels. Just think of the thousands of hotels that have been shut down in the last two weeks. They all have to fire up again. They have to get their staff back. Hopefully their staff are still available unless uh, these folks have found jobs elsewhere and don't want to come back. There is going to be a lot of uh, disruption here. Uh, going forward. I know governments are doing everything they can to try to minimize it, but uh, you just can't. Uh, it's like a, it's like a, you know, a leak uh, in a dike. Um, there's another one and another one, another one. You run out of fingers and toes and the water just keeps coming in. Um, here's another indicator here of things coming back to normal. When you see Las Vegas light up again, when the strip is back in business in Las Vegas, the world is returning to normal because Las Vegas depends on people driving in to the tent to the city and flying in and uh, they cannot 
make it work with one or the other. They have to have both. They've got to have those flights coming in. Many are chartered. They've got to have tons of vehicles coming in from California, Arizona to enjoy the weekend activities on the Strip. And if the hotels all open up on the Strip, the world is returning to normal very, very quickly. And of course, in Vegas, that means hundreds of thousands of employees will be back to work at these hotels and casinos. Anyway, there's a brief uh, little video for you today. Um, Hope you don't mind me rambling on a little bit today. Thanks for uh, joining me and following me. Uh, Hope you liked it. We'll stay on top of the story. Uh, We know Monday, Carnival is going to say something about their future, and we'll see what they have to say. Something tells me they will delay another month at the very least, but uh, we'll let you know. In the meantime, stay warm, stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you later.